ami hu unik ka aktuit atok ta himung ni tuhule a tei ko kamu ge yo yu lo aktuit we just got off the land i mean i got off the land 50 years ago there's tons of stories out there we just need to put them down if i wanted to work in film in the north i had to be the one creating the work My name is Stacey Agluk McDonald. I'm originally from Kogluktuk, Nunavut, a small community in the most western part of Nunavut. I'm uh, Benjamin Kunu, I'm from Igdalik, Nunavut. My name is Vina Kagatak, I live here in Iqaluit. My, my job is that of a wandering artist. My name is Zachary Kunu, and last year we released our new film, Mariglutit. My name is Natar Mara. My role was to co-direct Mariglutit. The churches. I do some producing work with Kanukyak Studios that produces our, t our flagship TV show, Kanukle. I'm hosting movie nights across Canada here in the Kaluit uh, with Stacey McDonald. I live in Kaluit, Nunavut now, where I work as a television producer. For movie nights across Canada in Iqaluit, I am a talent ambassador for the evening. Um, so I'm hosting the event and celebrating along with everybody else. Stacey, it's great to be sharing the stage with you tonight. It's such a great opportunity for us to celebrate Canada's talent, and more importantly, Nunavut's talent. Events like movie nights across Canada are important because we have so much talent in Canada. Our own Zacharias Kunuk is being showcased here uh, with Malik Lutid. It's a great film. Uh, it's important because we're part of it, that's our goal. I mean, as a filmmaker, that, that's the goal, that's where you want to be. It's an honor to be at this level. And it's also great to bring it to places like Iqaluit where we get even less exposure than mainstream Southern Canada does. In 1966, I went to Iqaluit to learn how to speak English and at that time we started seeing movies and they were like God sent. You see them on the screen and it's like the story is there and at the end of the movie you just entertain yourself two hours and you go out. I think that the part that we started making art before film, before video, before television, we have to see something first in order to do something. And the tar and I, we used to carve when we were young. <laughs> we used to carve a lot, soapstone and sometimes bone. That's what we used to do, make it, make a story out of a rock. And we would sell it at our local co-op. That's how we lived. But then when we started filmmaking, that's even better. I mean, it's art because you have to carve everything, uh, all your actors. My very early challenge, and it's still a challenge today, is that isolation that we experience from the rest of Canada in terms of having access to mentors, having access to training. It's cost prohibitive, it's expensive, it's many, many, many hours of doing producer work, applying for funds. We get up in the morning, it's like freezing. The mustache is always like frozen every morning. That was great because when there's ice, icicles on his beard, that's exactly what we want. The great thing about Kanogli or Maliglutit is that they're both shows being created by Inuit. So we know already the situations and the environment that we're going to be going into it with. So we can create and write in a way that kind of accommodates and adapts to life up here in the Arctic, whether it's 24 hour sunlight or 24 hour darkness. I've never really thought of that kind of stuff as a challenge. We just know how to work with it. I myself am very interested in producing Inuit art either in theater or in television so that we can try and preserve our language. There's so much non-Inuktitut programming out there that bombards us and so if we can produce even um, a half hour show um, for people to watch on a, on a weekly basis that, that means we're, we're, uh, we're helping preserve with something. 
We want to create stories by us, meaning all of us, Inuit, for Inuit. And if we want to be a country that supports Indigenous people and showcases the diverse range of people and talent within our own country, then we need to be able to share our languages. And that's why it's important to me to create content in Inuktitut. In the Inal culture, everything is kept in the head because there is no paper and pen. All these stories, agreements, marriages, it's all in the head. When the camera came, that was perfect tool for us. So we just pointed at the, our elders and they just talked to the camera. We do our best to have elders involved with the dialect. We want to keep our language too, back home. I think that's the best thing that we can able to assist our children, grandchildren for a better future that if they know how to speak their own language. Why we're doing it, we want to be in power as we learn how the system works. Um, it's a lot more than filming. There's marketing and promoting. And all. You go to film festivals, you walk the red carpet. I mean, it's all that. And <laughs> it's, I never expected the mayor wanted to make movies. We, we want to be in par with the rest of, of the world. And now we are. And it's an uh, honor to be in that level. <laughs>